All Hail Caesar, an American love story is a travel show. But due to these unprecedented times, the Caesar currently cannot take to the road. So in this episode, the Caesar will bring the road to us. All Hail Caesar, an American love story was not filmed before a live audience. Ah, yeah. Everybody loves the Caesar. It's me, Caesar. Ah, yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's me, Caesar. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. You all look gorgeous. <laughs> oh. Los Angeles, city of Andros, the sweet scent of orange blossoms, the potent kick of a Musso and Frank's martini, the land of broken dreams, intoxicating highs, seismic lows, Hollywood, the Caesar shan't forget. The memory that took place outside the Hollywood Chinese Theater when I placed my delicate handprints upon that wet slab of concrete. Wet slab of concrete. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Camping below the third O of the Hollywood sign, and fortune was on the Caesar side, as was the president of Paramount Pictures, one of the great spooners of all time. And the rest is cinematic history. Who can forget the cult classics, Citizen Caesar, the holiday epic, It's a Wonderful Caesar, and some like it, Caesar, starring the Queen of Coche Coche, Charo. Alley, Alley, Alley's my lady, Alley's my lady, Alley. Join us on our date. Come on, everybody! Dance break! <laughs> It's hero time! A time when the Caesar has a little chat with a local hero. And I cannot wait to do that right now, my angels. Representing Lothan Helleth, please welcome Sarah Rodenbaugh. Sarah! Caesar! I'm so excited I get to talk to you one on one! Oh, I'm happy to have you here. I've heard so many wonderful things about you. Stop it. Go on. Well, I will go on. Goodbye. Oh, oh, you mean go on. Like, yeah, possible. no, please stay. Now, I hear there's much going on with you, and you're doing some good things in the community. I know it. All I'd like to hear. Please do share. One of the things is a company called Laughter on Call, and um, it's building courage one laugh at a time. And it's pairing someone in the elderly community um, with dementia, Alzheimer's, and a comedian and putting them together so that they can connect. It really opens up this person. It just gives them an opportunity to just have that human interaction. But because of the quarantine, we haven't been able to do that. So we're doing it online. They can get on Zoom just like everybody else is doing every day at noon. And if people are interested in that and have someone that would benefit, they can find the link at laughteroncall.com. Oh, that is wonderful. I thank you enough for doing that good work. And, and I have to ask you, Sarah, what, what are you doing to, to bull yourself during this very challenging time? I actually have been taking wire that I have around my house. And I like to shape them into like cool little designs, like this little tableau, a little um, cafe chair with a table and a coffee. I love it. I want to sit on that. 
I want to sit on that. I want to sit on that. I will make you a life-size version. <laughs> Please send it to me, my friend. I'll give you my P.O. box. After All hail time. Caesar. All hail. Uh, that was wonderful. Thank you for that, dear Sarah. And I have to say one more thing. I'd like to give you the opportunity to share a charity of choice, and we can all perhaps contribute to this charity. I think a great one is the Center in Hollywood. You can go to the centerinhollywood.org, and they're doing some great things right now to really help the people who are struggling even more during the quarantine, like a drive up food bank where if you have extra food and you want to do something while still social distancing, you can drive up and drop some food off from your car, which I think is a good way to help. It's wonderful. Well, thank you, Sarah. We are grateful to have you here. I'll be looking for my wired Caesar. Not that I'm not wired enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you again. Cheers to you. All hail to you, Sarah. And thank you. All, All hail. hail. break. my angels, my friends. It's buddy time. One of my favorite times, you know that. Behind every great man, there's an even greater man, which sums up my relationship with my very, very good buddy who's about to be before you. He is a fitness guru, perhaps the biggest giant of actor five on the planet. He's an international media sensation, He's a good friend of mine, ladies and gentlemen, the creator of P90X, Mr. Tony Horton. Yes! <laughs> oh, Antonio! It's so good to see you, Mr. Horton. It's been a long time. You look absolutely... You... We go way back, don't we, Tony? We used to work out together. We used to train together. And sometimes we'd even exercise together. <laughs> but that's another story. How are you, my angel? Um, we go way back. We have so many um, <clears throat> similar interests. We used to hang out on a strip together and yeah. we were both set and on the brink of success. Our inspirations included the great Jack Lalanne. Remember Jack Lalanne? Yo, Tony. Tony. Yes. Come on now. What's going on, Tony? You know, Caesar, we, we go, you're right. We go so far back. We've had so many great times. And, and it, apparently, from what I'm seeing, you're doing great. I mean, you've never looked better. You've never looked fitter. You look 10 years younger than the last time I saw you. I don't even know how that's possible. On the other hand, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be the guy, you know, bring it and get some and work. And I, oh, I don't want to do that. You are an inspiration to tens of millions of people. And let's not forget that uh, who, that I inspired you. And we, I came up with that P60, that idea that you kind of ran with. Yeah. But um, yeah, it it's okay. It's a, Tony, Tony, yeah. let me see what you got. You look, you're, you look a little. What do you mean? What do you want to see what I got? You just what look you bloated. You look, let me see what, come on. You, Get to it, Caesar. I want to see those. my stomach. I want to see your well-insured abs. Raise the shirt. Come on, baby. Come on. Show the shirt. Tony, come on. Raise the shirt. Let's see. Okay. For you. Thank you, Tony. For you. Sure you're fine, Tony. See what you... Oh, God. It's so bad. What is wrong with me? I'm supposed to be a motivator. You have to motivate me to take a break. Because that is nauseating. I'm going to tell you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back right after this little word from our sponsor. And we are out. Oh, my God. <laughs> disgusting. He never had any restraint, I'll tell you right now. He never 
never had any restraint. I don't know what his problem is. It's hard. It's like hell. It's hard. I don't know. I can't keep it going all the time. Twenty four. A couple of sweaty doing this for so long. I'm just. No. Um, it was Richard Simmons' way after Richard Simmons. Mm. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm I... welcome. Can you help me? Help me, Caesar, like you helped me with PX90. Help me. Help. And we are back, oh, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with the great Tony Horton. Tony, how are you, my friend? Now, Tony, I know you say you've been struggling and you've inspired so many others, and maybe it's time for the Caesar to inspire you so you can inspire the masses once more. I have a little, um, a little regimen I'd like to take you on. You can't hear me? No, I I can hear you, but could you hear me? Did you I just did you hear anything I just said? Anything? Okay. Tony, walk this way. I'm gonna help you out here. Come on, walk this way, my angel. Okay, okay. okay. that's what I need. I'm gonna help you out. You know I still love you. Where are you going? God, we'd be on the dating scene together. We'd go to swingers together and we'd have martinis together. Remember all those good times? Those were good times. Yeah. Right, I'm going to take you on my BFD 60 uh, routine that I have here. Hello, Angel. Would you mind taking this? Oh, gosh. Who's oh. that? Who are you? Yeah. Okay, that? Tony. Watch the scissor. Here's the move. You're going to repeat after me. Boom, 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 ding. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It will make the difference. It will transform you. Rise, Mr. Horton. Rise. That's going to make this go away? Give it a shot. Come. Okay. All right. Stand up. All oh. right. Oh, 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 damn it. Okay. Here we go. Everything right. All right, Tony. Feel it in your core. You still have a core somewhere beneath all those layers. Here we go. A one, two, three, boom. Boom. How's that? Like you mean it, Tony. Right. Commitment. Right, here we go. I, right. One, two, three, boom. 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 Ding, ding. <laughs> yeah. And see the result. Look, 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 look. Oh, look my lovely body. My look. God. Yes, Caesar. Hail Caesar. Beautiful Tony, you're back. Oh, oh, Antonio. I love, you. I love you. I've always loved you. Oh, I want to give you a, a hug. I want to give you a hug. I want to give you a hug. I'll give you a virtual hug right now. <laughs> I, love I love you, Tony. Now, Tony, we have a little game we like to play here. It's called Three Faves. And you and I both okay. know Los Angeles. We have. And I'd like you, my special buddy, to name three of your favorite spots in Los Angeles. So let's hear. Three of your faves. Okay, number one, um, a Volterrasante, which means to your health, I believe. Uh, lovely, it's on, in Brentwood, if you're on the west side, terrific. Also, Coral Tree Cafe, also on the west side, really good, healthy food. And then if you like the Italiano, I like the Italiano, I like you the Italiano, I go to Pizza Cotto. Pizza Cotto means pizza in a coat. Pizza Boy, I didn't of a realize coat. how fluent Beautiful. you were. We'll that was like a minute with Rosetta Stone. I love it. That was exciting, and I want to thank you for that. That was a thrill. Now we have a segment within a segment within a segment. It's called Five and Ten. Okay. You are a native. You are restless. God knows. <laughs> now listen. Tom. Yes. In ten seconds, there will be five Los Angeles iconic spots flashed before your eyes. Oh, boy. Okay. I just want you to call them out. It's a little test. I don't get out much, but I'll see. All right, Antonio. Here we go. A three, a two. A one. Angel's Flight, yes. Uh, at City Hall, come on, that one's easy. Bradbury Building, Chinatown, come on, the dragons. Make, make a hard one, and Venice. Tony Horton, you nailed it. I love it, my angel, I love it. Here's your opportunity to share some information about your favorite charity. I know you have one, and I'd like you to share with our friends so the tens of millions of people who are watching will be able to contribute to this cause. All yours. Well, if you're a P90X fan, you know Scotty Pfeiffer. And Scott uh, has a nonprofit called The Go Campaign. They help orphans around the world, from Tanzania to Tennessee. He's helped over 140,000 orphans. Imagine. GoCampaign.org. Check it out. That's wonderful. Thank you for your generosity, Mr. H. I love you, Tony. I like you, Tony. I respect you, Tony. 
Till next time, my angel. All hail Horton! I love you. Ah, yeah. Yes! <laughs> we love you, Lothanhenneth! <laughs> Everybody loves the sister, and the feather loves you too. Look at I did not see you there. I hope you will join me for a cocktail time. Eh? Why don't you subscribe right here? We'll get together more often, eh? Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah! Woo!